Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a product review. Uh, the good people at Feefine contacted us and asked if we want to review their K658 microphone. Now, full disclosure, we did open the box. Also, we didn't look any previous reviews. No, no. And so we're just going off the cuff with this because we want it to be authentic. We opened it up to know what we were working with as far as uh, Hookup. Hookup. Wires. Yeah. 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 So the way that we're going to audio capture this is on our laptop, and that's the best way to do it. And we can also compare it against the other Fifi mic we have that we bought a couple years ago for our son for Christmas. So what we're going to do next is unbox this, give you guys an inside look at everything in the box so that you can see it for yourself, and we'll talk about the product as we go. All right, so you guys can see that it's really nicely packaged. Uh, the box is colorful and it displays exactly what you're getting in the box. Um, like we said, we already took a peek inside, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. Comes with a user guide with all the information in it that you need uh, to tell you how to set up the microphone and all the functions. It's not that complicated though. It really, I think really you can isn't. Get by even without looking at instructions, if you're a man. If you're a man. <laughs> so we have a good uh, sturdy stand. We did take a peek at this earlier and it's really like heavy duty it's construction. Heavy, it, heavy steel. Yeah. yeah. So you know it's going to last. You know on the mic? There are two different buttons. I think this is your mute button. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Or volume control. Oh, or volume control. Yeah. Both, probably. I don't know how that looks on the screen. Dial. And then the other side. I'm assuming that's your power. I think that's for your light. Oh, is there so a that's light for, that? for your light. Yeah. That looks like a light button. Yeah. We also have a adapter for a boom mic, which we do have with our Rode mic. So if we need to set it up to our boom, we totally can. But it is uh, recommended that you have it. I do believe two to four inches away from your face. One thing I noticed about this that all these are actually rubber bands for shock absorption. Oh, nice. Yeah, see? That's awesome. So put that mic on. Take that off. Yep. Does, the sticker does tell you which way it goes on, so just in case there's any uh, confusion there. And then there's a ring that connects the microphone onto the back, onto the light-up stand. Just a little threaded collar. Yep. Well, I guess that's not the light up stand. I don't know where the lights come from. I think it might be no, the back, comes from the back, of the, back of the microphone. So yeah. that's just basically your shock absorption stand. And it also comes with a uh, USB to um, USB-C adapter. Yep. So that you can hook that up to laptop. Yeah, laptop. Uh, I do believe PS4. I, from what I read, it is not Xbox compatible. Really? Yeah. But if you're game capturing, you would do that through your computer anyways, yeah. onto your Xbox. I did notice on the back of the mic before, there is a headphone jack. Yeah, there's a headphone jack that you can do real-time monitoring, so that if you're recording, you can use that. So how does that work, is it? Yeah, just like that. You hear your own voice? Yeah, you can, hear, you can hear yourself, so you can adjust the... Do I want to get earbuds when you're that? You can try that, yeah. Okay, so far, as far as I know, we got three cameras going right now. We have our main camera, we have our side camera, and we have our webcam. And the reason the webcam is set up is so that we can record and test the uh, K658. How is it sounding to you like, in the headphones? It's great. <clears throat> like You talk and I can turn your volume all the way down. It's amazing. <laughs> Every husband wants one of these for their wives. What? Yeah, exactly. Another thing I noticed too about the lights, they're not overpowering. So it's more like an ambient background light. It's not going to distract and the viewer. It's not going to distract the person talking. It just kind of adds something extra. See, that's at about three quarters. Right okay. There. I kind of like that. Yeah, and it sounds good. Add a touch of a button and it's like touch sensitive. It's not a press in button. So here's my audio going to go off. And I do believe that should be muted right now. And what I just said is I do believe that should be muted right now, but 
My second mic, my Rode mic, would have caught that anyways. The table has been shaking the whole time because I lean on it. Now. Yeah. But it's not coming through. It's not coming through. Because of the shock absorption. Right? Yeah. So. And it does have noise reduction in the uh, unit itself too. This, I do feel like this, this is a perfect mic to do voiceover, B-roll, to do, um, you want to start doing review videos, like for our channel, yeah. doing review videos for games and stuff like that, like the closer the better. So that's the one problem I have with our Rode mic. It's a great mic for, ha if you have multiple people in the room, it's a, it's a shotgun mic. So whatever it's pointed towards, that's what it's capturing. But when I put my head down to read a script, I need to adjust that microphone. And I don't want to have to adjust it, and I know that's a simple thing, but if I had this one and it's a plug and play situation, I could sit at a table and have my script right here and read. Be great for a podcast. Yeah. Now, because I'm, it's it's weird because when you have these in and you're listening to yourself, you mm -hmm. also hear the voice in your head, so I don't sound great on a side. Because, but if you put it in front of you. But if I put it in front of me, then yeah. It sounds good. And then I sound further away. It's like a one-man mic show here. It is. So, like I said, for... Whoa, whoa, let's turn you back down. <laughs> I want you to experience what I have to hear. It's weird when you're wearing the headphones and you're talking into it because you hear yourself in your own head. Play, uh, well, I'll talk, and you want to play with the volume on the top so you okay. can hear. Because it's a little different when you're doing it and talking at the same time. Yeah. It's usually like, whoa. You don't really get to hear the difference that much. But now you get to hear me... And you might not even want to hear me. <laughs> so there you go. And it's all, all these buttons are like touch. They just, uh, I don't know what they're called. Maybe you could pop it up, but they're. It's almost like a sensor touch. Yeah, it's a very sensitive, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, you're not pushing it in. You're I not don't know pressing what it's, that button. I don't know what it's called, but it's yeah. It's like the same thing on the front of your Xbox One. The, the, yeah, the very the first originals, one. The originals, yeah. They got rid of that for a reason. And here's <laughs> the, uh, yeah. So it's just touch, touch sensitive. Yeah. You're not That's for the pressing that button in. No. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not a click in or anything. No. What I think we should do next then is turn this mic off, plug the other one in, and see the difference. Okay. First thing you notice is size. The size difference. Obviously. <laughs> um, your volume button's on the bottom. Next thing I noticed yeah. was, how do I know it's working unless I go look at my computer here? And yeah. Do your test. Do your testing. Yeah. Uh, also, another thing, it doesn't have that wind muff on the front of it. Yeah. So that probably makes a difference. It also has a built-in. Put it in front of you there, like the other one. Okay. Ones. It is also this? has a built-in wire. Oh, yes. So over time, I worry if you're wrapping that. It might. It, it would. Uh, ruin the wire i love that i can unplug that i could sit on your desktop it looks really nice not that there's anything wrong with this one we've used this one on a we've used on this a podcast one. before and we never had a problem with two of us or it was not that big a exactly deal. we're going to uh play this back and see how it sounds of course you guys are hearing it right now but it's it's really cool we're gonna also pop this one out and we're going to try the other Fifine mic. All right, so now we have our other Fifine mic plugged in, and it's going to be interesting in playback to see the sound quality between the two. The biggest thing between these two uh, is price point, and it's not bad. This is in the $40 range. This is in the $100 range. So I like that Fifine is giving you options as far as what's your spending limit, what's your comfort level in investment into a product. As far as reviewing goes too, guys, we don't do many reviews on this channel just because if I'm going to review something, I want it to be something I actually would use in everyday yeah. life. So, and we would use this. This, you, uh, when they contacted you, you said, uh, yeah, I could definitely use this because I've been harassing you to do more game reviews. Yes. Yeah. So that'll kind of, you know, give me that push I need and and a good mic to do those voiceover so in conclusion guys we would recommend the k658 now we could have done better testing we should have been using this two to four inches from our face we should have been not side on that's how the mic's meant to be used with all the extra functions with the ability for live monitoring the lights on it the mute function the ability to have that cord removed so that you're saving not constantly 
putting wear and tear on the cord by wrapping it up and putting it away for the extra 60 bucks, it's well worth it. Thank you so much to Feefine for sending this mic to us and giving us a chance to review it. I'm really excited to start doing reviews and then you guys will be able to hear it live uh, as well in testing when I'm doing my reviews. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be pushing you now, Herc. I know you will be. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and until next time, game on.